Look at somebody and tell them what a blind man saw. First of all, he saw the seriousness of his situation. But then Mother Davis, the next thing he saw was the coldness of the crowd. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, people can be so cold. Did you hear what I said? The scripture goes on to say when he lifted his voice to get the Lord's attention, he was met with dissenting opinions. They told him to shut up. They said, hold your peace. Come on, let's talk for real here. The old English has a way of being politically correct. But they came out of their face and told him, shut up. In other words, you're a bother. You're a nuisance. And I might as well tell you the truth. It's unfortunate. In Christian churches, we got people who misrepresent the Lord. They feel like their job is to be the gatekeepers of the church and to right all the wrongs. They tell me of a woman. We'll just call her Sister Self-Righteous. Sister Self-Righteous came to church during the celebration of the Lord's Supper. And when she discovered there were certain unbelievers or visitors that were participating in the Lord's Supper, she called out to the pastor and told him I decided somebody's got to do something and since you won't do it I'll do it so I politely told all those people that took the Lord's supper unworthily they were going to hell the pastor composed himself after being heated for a moment looked back at her and said sister self-righteous the people are not going to hell because they took the Lord's Supper if they're going to hell it's only because of their unbelief she couldn't handle the fact that he wouldn't scold them he cleared his throat and said sister self-righteous my advice to you is to make sure you don't put any more asphalt on the road to hell that you are paving for yourself I come here to tell somebody God don't need you come on here to be the welcome wagon come on here or the expulsion group concerning his church in fact he put it this way let the wheat and the tag grow together and I do the separating because you don't have the ability to distinguish between the two because there's folks that dress like wheat and act like wheat when they're really tear. touch somebody and tell them neighbor they're folks that talk in tongues and are full of the devil y'all don't hear what I'm saying got dresses sweeping the ground and five head coverings but mean and evil touch your neighbor and tell him it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit saith the Lord and that is why David said I want a right spirit you hear what I'm saying I don't want fame and fortune I want character I want God to stand up in me cause I can't minister beyond what I am so if I am not nothing then I have nothing to minister but Lord you made me what I am look at somebody and tell neighbor preach your experience tell somebody else preach your experience you trying to amend take people's tapes and take people's CDs and some of y'all done got a couple of mine faking it come on here won't even give me credit 
acting like he's your revelation. Ha, the devil is a lie. Ha, touch your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, ha, you got enough hell going on in your life right now ha, to have 50 sermons ha, before the year is over. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Ha, you got enough stuff going on right now. Ha, you can preach till Jesus come. Ha, tell somebody, neighbor, ha, he's a healer. Ha, he's a keeper. Ha, he's a way maker. Ha, he's a door opener. Ha, he's a hot fixer and a mind regulator. That's seven messages right there. Ha. Touch somebody and tell neighbor, I preach what I live. Ha. You don't hear what I'm telling you? Ha. So sometimes you might hear me ha. talk about struggle because I'm in it. Ha. But I want you to know ha. that there is no message ha. that should end ha. with a crazy sock. Ha. Tell somebody and tell neighbor, ha. don't preach it ha. until you get through with it. Ha. Come on in here now. Ha. Oh, hallelujah. It's going to be horrific Preaching in the storm You don't hear me Because all people are going to hear Waves and wind They're going to hear That sinking feeling But tell them hold on Because I got a feeling That everything's going to be alright Tell somebody It's a neighbor I got one more word for you Tell them after This storm is over God's going to show you something Bruised and battered But I'm still standing Battered by an angry sea But I'm still standing Look at somebody and tell them After all these years I'm still holding on Let's finish, let's finish. The people were cold. The people said, shut up. You're a nuisance. This would not be the first time people turned folks away from Jesus. The Bible referred to children coming. Uh-huh, just warning. You know how children are. And that's why I try my best. Amen. I could be tired and beat up. I might wave at some of you adults. Because you ought to know better to let the man of God repair himself but I'll stop every time and take time with children because their hearts are pure their motives are pure and Jesus says suffer them and forbid them not oh come on talk to me Jesus don't need no bodyguards Jesus don't need no armor bearers Jesus don't need no accidents you don't hear what I'm saying Jesus ain't got no briefcase to carry. He ain't got no cape to put on. He's Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. And everything in between. Look at your neighbor to neighbor. The Lord don't need to be protected from you. You can't do nothing to him. But he says, I am God. I heal. I wound and I make a life. I speak and men live. I speak and men die. Touch your neighbor, tell them, don't you keep anybody away from the Lord.